Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Russian Fishing 4. And I am here at the very north end of the map. I don't know if you can see my mouse here, but I am right where the bend where the bank is. I don't know if you can see that little, looks like up that arrow like thing. It looks supposed to represent a camp, even though I don't see one. But I am right up there, and there's this kind of like a log thing jetting up right here. I've been fishing here a little bit, and I have been catching quite a few eyed. And I just had to go back and sell some, because I did find out that when you're fishing, <laughs> you have to sell your fish before you leave the game. That's what the red means. When the fish turn red, that means they're rotten. And in this game, time continues to go on even though you're not here. It's not like Fishing Planet where when you leave, it's like time stands still until you come back. So that's something you really have to be aware of. And one of the things I need to do here, guys, I need to check my inventory here. Because I am hungry and there is nothing... Did I eat that? Or did I drop it? Ah, oh, shoot. Here we go again. Alright, how do I eat? Honest to God, I don't remember. Is it this one, or is it this one? It's the right one. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm better off now. Oh, it's on the right side, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat this soup sugar duck. And I think I should be good to go. I'll save that. But yeah, my hunger is almost all the way up. Well. Got to do it on the right. Left one drops. I thought it was the right one that drops, but oh well. Anyway, this is where I want to fish, guys. I want to kind of let... Start over here and let the current drag it down. See if I can't enter something that way. Now, I'm going to keep this at around a meter, meter and a half. Because the water here is a bit deeper. And I've tried it in a meter. didn't do too bad. But... We're going to let this current take this and see what if anything goes after it now last time I fished here it was a sunny day and it was a little more current than there is right now I will say that because it was just rolling down there it seemed like when I got right about to where that stick up is over there on the right side I started getting bites and most of them seem to have been eyed. So we're going to see if they're still here. I think what I'll do is I'll take the lead back up a little bit. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. been playing Fishing Planet too much, guys. <laughs> I'm getting my controls mixed up here. Alright, let's see. Let's toss it out there at a meter. Let's see if that changes their perspective a little bit. Alright, let's do this. Let's back up a little bit. Nothing there. Let's try casting out closer to that log. Sorry, right now we gotta find them. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta find them. Figure out where they are. Yeah, I've gotta get me some. 
a reasonable amount of cash so that I can get a spinning rod. Well, I tell you, in the afternoon they don't seem to be biting here near as much at this location. So what we'll do is we'll come over here. A little further down. I'll try it right here for a little bit and see if there's anything here. Maybe they've gone a little further down or maybe they're over here by these lilies. It's hard to say. I almost usually get bites at lilies, so yep, we're getting a bite. So I just need to go a little bit further down, guys. Not sure what we got here, but it's... It's def... Whoa, okay. It's romanced it. And it is... That's an Eid. Or Ruffy. All right, guys. Honestly, I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, I th just let me know what it is in the comments. But I don't think it's an I'd. I th I'd had like three letters. Not sure what that is, but we'll keep it. Not sure what that is. Not. Familiar enough with these species to know some of them on sight. Now I know my carp, but what these guys are definitely biting. And I got this one. Let's see what we got. Well, it's another one of the same type of species. So they are definitely right there by the lily pads. Oh, I'm out of bait. Let's see. Am I totally out of that bait? No, I'm not. I just need to add a new one. There we go. See, I can keep reusing the same... I'm going to pull back just a little bit. I want to see what's out a little bit further here. If anything. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Well. He kind of bit at it like a Golby, didn't he? Just kind of took it down real slowly. Well, we found the fish. Now we just got to figure out which kinds we're going to go after here. It's not looking like there's a whole lot out deeper. Yeah, they seem to be closer into that lily pad patch. Yeah, I might switch the worms, see if I can't some get some perch or something. There we go. Okay, there's that's an all new one for me too. <laughs> what is that? 113 though. My gosh. Awesome. I have not seen that one before. It's the first time I've caught that one. 
I love when you get new species and you see fish that you've never seen before. You're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> what is that? Well, they're really biting here, guys. Yeah, I'm trying to, to just kind of let the current and f pull it along. Let the fish take it, but eventually I'm going to have to... There we go. Oh, you little pain in my butt. You little pain in my butt. You turkey. You little turkey. I know they're catfish, but can there be a turkey fish? Yeah, we'll, I guess we'll never know. I was thinking there was something biting it, but I'm not so sure now. Nah, I don't think so. Alright guys, let's switch over here. Let's change our bed. I'm going to put worms on here. I'm going to put this away. I'm going to come over here closer to that uh, little stick ups we're going to see if there's any perch in that there area Getting much activity here. Let's let it float down the length of this and we'll see. There's more cover down the river. We can try there too. There we go. Guess I wasn't up far enough. That's acting like a perch. Ah, oh, you little pain in my butt. Mm. That may be a little too far in. It's starting to get a little bit late, so I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to fish for the perch. Okay, whatever was there is not biting yet. Let's get a little closer to shore there. There we go, that's better. That's more like it. Whoa! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's perch. That's perch. That's a nice perch. 
That's a nice perch. It's a nice perch. <laughs> All right, I like catching perch. Perch are fun. They're not worth a whole lot of XP, but they are a lot of fun to catch. Now these are, damn. There's something hitting it really hard, guys. Do you see that? Look how hard it's hitting it. Oh, okay. Well, no. I thought he took it under that time. Yeah, here in the States, we have what's called the yellow perch. And I've been told that these are called redfin perch. And for the rest of the world, well, these are just perch. Okay, they're perch, different varieties. We have perch close to where I live, and I love catching them because they are some good eating and they're a lot of fun. And you don't really have to work that hard to get them. You just got to be there at the right times, and you got to have bait similar to what I'm fishing here. They love it. They love worms. They love wax worms. This guy is not giving up. There we go. We got him this time. Oh, that's another one of those guys. All right. Let's throw it out there again. Let's see if we can't get some perchification here. Guess they're just in the mood for red worms today. The old finicky fish. That one that was hitting it so hard, I would love to have known what that one was. He was... I wasn't sure he had that. Yeah, I'm catching a lot of these guys over here, and they are just... going after just about anything I put in the water, it seems like. Now it's turning night. Turn my flashlight on, and it doesn't seem does not seem like things are slowing down. Whoa! If anything, it's getting better. Whoa! Holy crikeys! Holy crikeys! That's a pound perch. Look how fat that sucker is. I think that's what Dula calls a Purchasaurus. I think bigger than a pound, he calls him Purchasaurus Rex. I haven't quite got the Purchasaurus Rex yet, but that was a nice perch, man. That was a nice old perch, man. That was awesome. Jeez. Okay, this is... Dang. I am rocking the perch here, guys, and I'm going to keep doing this. Cause this seems to be the prime time for them. It goes right past that stump, or stick up, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, didn't get a bite that time. Try again. It is late, so they may have slowed down now. But you can bet your sweet bippy I'm going to be here in the morning because the twilight seems to be their time, guys. Yeah, I think they've quit for now. Nope. I'd be wrong. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, it's too quick on the draw again. I get li I get anxious. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I like catching fish. It's fun. No, I am getting a little excited. All right, guys, I think what we're going to do, we're going to put this away here. And I'm going to come down here. I want to look at these, this cover over here. See what we have to deal with here. Hmm. Well, this looks. This looks interesting. Very interesting. Might be coming back here in the morning then. This late at night, I don't think I'm going to get much action on the worms. But I might get something on the wax worms. But let me come down here a little bit farther. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around, I think. Can't get through there. Okay, I'm I'm lost! I'm lost in the woods! Oh no! <laughs> no, I'm alright. There we go. Oh, wow. I guess as far as you can go, but... Oh, not really. No, this is as far as you can go. Daggone it. I wish you could go over there. But... Hmm. This looks like some interesting... Possible carp cover, maybe. So let's try this, guys. Let's try changing our bait. Let's put on some potatoes. <laughs> Those are not, it's not cheese, guys. I found that out too. Looks a lot like the cheese that we use in Fishing Planet, so that's what I thought it was. But these are potatoes. So. Good God, there could be just about anything back in there. We're going to try a few things over here. We're going to try... Okay, looks like it's stopped for the moment. I think we're just going to leave that. In fact, I might even... No, nope, I'm going to have to back up a little bit. You know, I don't know what in the world would be back here. There's a lot of cover. But I'm not so sure I'm going to get anything at night off of this. I'm probably going to have more luck over here by these reeds with what I'm fishing with here. So I'm just going to kind of Give her a light toss here. Over by the reeds. In that uh, duckweed. Whoa! Bastard. <laughs> There's no bass in here, guys. No bass. No bass. Wish there were, but there are no bass. I'm going to pull this over here a little bit. Close to this duckweed. I think I'll set that down. Do a little shimmy. 
And we'll just leave it there for the moment. Let's get our other rod out here. What have I got on here? I have worms. Let's put dull balls on there. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot you got to change the lead. Let's take it up to about... Let's take it up to 60. Lousy cast. There we go. Okay. Here we got two different kinds of bait. Let's see if anything goes for it. Now I'm going to hand hold this cane pole because when you put it down it tends to mess with the fish too much when you lift it out of the water. That damn fish is just messing with me. <laughs> he is... That happened to me in real life. It's like you're standing there, you're night fishing. Okay, we're getting a bite. You're night fishing, and then you, like... Not catching a thing, and then three feet away from you in the water, it sounds like somebody threw a cinder block or something. It really ticks you off. There we go. Nice, nice carp. Nice carp. So they are over here. Knock it off! You're starting to really make me mad. <laughs> You're just showing off now. Yeah, it's not looking like they're going for those potatoes, guys. I thought I'd give it a go, you know. Never know. They are definitely going for the dough balls, though. The carp are present. Oh, boy. He is a big fella. Come in here, you. Nice. He is a full kilogram, guys. He is a full kilogram. Truth be known, I'm kind of glad nothing's biting at that because it's too hard to to keep track of that many <laughs> rods sometimes. What the heck is that? Sounds like somebody walking around behind me or something. That's kind of creepy. Well, the water pattern changed. It looks like it's going to rain now. It's probably thunder I'm hearing. Ugh. Thanks, fish. Alright, guys. Let's go ahead and pack this guy away. Let's pick up our other rod. Just to see, let's put some wax worms on this. And we'll throw it right out there where we've been fishing. And catching the carp. Let me back up a little bit.
So the sun should become well. That fish is really get, starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> I'm thinking of moving again. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here to my perchification location. Now that it's twilight. see if they're biting again off these worms. I think I was a little bit further down when I... Yeah. Alright, let's see if we get those perch scared up again. Thing is, the rain is going to bring different conditions, so we may not get the same kind of outcome that we did before. I'm going to give another try here. Just let it coast on down. If they don't start hitting it right about here, then I think our weather pattern has changed our fish, fish's little situation here. And I think it may have. Well, that's okay, guys. This has gone on a little bit long, but I've been having a pretty good time here, guys. Let me go ahead and put, put this away. And we're going to go back to the fishmonger and sell these fish because you have to do that. I mean, if you don't, your fish are going to spoil. That's it, plain and simple, in a nutshell. So, I'll bring you back when I get there. Alright, guys, we're approaching the fishmonger and we're going to see what we got for these fish. Alright. see apparently these flagged ones are special fish like this one this was that kilogram carp and he was worth 2.34 silver and that big fat old perch he was 1.25 and perch usually aren't worth a lot so that was very nice see this one only got like 0 0.08 so he didn't get he didn't bring much whatever these things are yeah they're not bringing in a whole lot, whatever they are. But as you can see, a lot of these are not bringing in a whole lot of cash. The carp seems to be the big cash bringers. But then again, it's, a lot of this is supply and demand. So we're going to go ahead and sell these guys. And that takes us up to 47 silver. And... I think we're going to call that an episode. We're going to keep working at this, guys. We're going to get our cash up, and we are going to get us a spinning rod, because that's what I really want to be able to do. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And hopefully sooner than later, this thing will be in English. That will make things a lot better. Anyway, guys, until then, guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'm out, guys. Peace.